to go. That's a short game. Second and six. He's out of the pocket. Intercepted. That brings the play to an end. How big was that interception early in the game, Phil? Well, it's big for the defense, and it's bad for the quarterback. Anytime you throw an interception somewhere in the first half of a game, it really can play on the mind of the quarterback. Austin Safarian Jenkins has the catch. This defense features a first-round pick out of the 2013 draft from Washington in cornerback Desmond Trufant. Trufant is just one tough competitor. Likes to get out there and mix it up with these wide receivers, and that's how you have to be as a defensive back. You've got to be able to go out there and fight them, and no matter what happens, line up the next play and give them some more. Ah, oh, the coach is going, hey, nice job, son, nice job. Anytime the quarterback takes off on a pass play and picks up a first down, it makes the coaches feel really good. Winston's on the move. Safarian Jenkins makes the grab. That's another reception, giving him two. Nowadays, we see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain, stepping up in the pocket, getting outside, and more and more we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. Bump fake. And he's thrown to the ground. Defensive coordinators love this. When they can sack the quarterback without taking any chances, that time they just send the front four, they get the sack, and they didn't even blitz. Loss of a couple that time. The Buccaneers from the 32. Winston's off the mark there. Incomplete. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down. on a quarter route and you're quarterback cannot put it on the target this will be a field goal attempt from 49 yards out Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. They put up three here in the first to take the lead. It's always good to get those points on the board and get the lead and get the other team chasing you. Fields the football at the three. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Falcons are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation. Can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Let's go. Second down and seven. That's going to fall incomplete. Julio Jones in the vicinity. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it. What a job in effort. As a quarterback, you got to know when to get rid of the football that time. He just holds on it too long, takes the hit, and fumbles it. Bad job. First down at the 15. a gain of 10. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. 
Touchdown, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Winston's second touchdown of the game. That touchdown provides them with a solid advantage midway through the first. Yeah, you know, I got news for the defense. They are allowed to try to stop the opponent's offense. So far, they have put up no resistance. They are getting pushed around all over the field. Perhaps the best ever. Hester on the return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Falcons offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. from the 22. Gets the handle here. And then picks up about three. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second and 12. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Falcons come to the line with an empty backfield. Let's go. Third and seven. He'll throw it over the middle. A nice grab. The ball is out. Recovery by the offense. Johnson's in on the tackle. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. Freeman's lined up as the single back. Ends up picking up three yards. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The Buccaneers with a nickel look here on defense. The Falcons will take the snap from the 45. Has the first down. Now looking for more. A foot race to the end zone. Going to take it home for the touchdown. There is nothing. like get the long running play for a touchdown when you do you just feel like you're stealing something it takes good blocks but most importantly it takes a talented running back to get it done and this team definitely has one Falcons ready to boot the football down the field he'll take it from the one made right around the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers offense is back out there and ready to continue to roll as they've done so far in this game, Phil. Yeah, Jim, they have been rolling. And here's what I want to see. What is the defensive side? What's the defensive coordinator going to do to stop these offenses? He needs to change, go with a different plan of attack. If he does, I think it'll catch the offense off guard. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. First down at the 42. Is it caught? Yes! The offense has the ball! That's his third catch of the day. It's always good when your quarterback...
is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the E. Completion. <laughs> Quarterbacks always love play action passes. Why? Because it usually gives them a little more time to throw. When you get more time, you're going to make a better decision and you're going to be more accurate. Austin Safarian Jenkins has the catch. <laughs> With a minute to go in the first quarter, it's a first down. The Buccaneers come out in a bunch set. Staying with the passing game on first down. And they're all over him for the sack. How about the defense on that play? They were not fooled. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick. And that's a big sack down near the goal line. Has it. Touchdown. I hope you have your blowout playbook, Phil, because this game is so one-sided as the first quarter is drawing near a finish. Yeah, oh, shoot, you know me. I'm very limited. I only have one playbook, and that's all out. But, hey, that describes what we're seeing here so far. The offense, the whole football team, they've been sharp, and they're on their way to a blowout. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Hester's got it. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Falcons come out now with the hopes of adding even more fireworks to what's been a very eventful first quarter for them, Phil. Ah, it's been fun to watch so far. You know what happens? You have these plays, and you plan for the start of the game, and they're going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10, taking it all the way home. I know it's just the first quarter, Phil, but they needed that touchdown. This team was in danger of possibly being embarrassed today. Oh, the way they were playing, they were getting dominated on offense and defense, and all of a sudden, you look up and boom, a quick score by them, and they're right back in it. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers offense is in rhythm. Coming back out for another drive. The last two times they've had it, they found the end zone. Their rhythm, they make, they're making it look easy, Jim. It's like watching you dance. You have such great rhythm. It looks like you're not even working at it. So that's how it looks for the this offense here today. The Buccaneers are looking good so far, Phil. And a lot of that has to do with the passing game. Winston's been in rhythm so far today. He has been in rhythm. He is hot. Some days, Jim, when you warm up, you know you have it. And that's what happened to this guy today. When he was warming up, he had it, and he has it in the game. The incompletion stopped the clock, but third and eight still to come. Safarian Jenkins makes the grab. The Buccaneers on their offensive play sheet. They don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you. Going. Jackson's got the catch and the first. The post route deep down the field, going towards the goal post. It's not called enough in this league. Nice throw by the quarterback. First down here after the completion. Winston's on the move. He reaches up and grabs it. That's reception number two for him. How about...